What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out a brand new sub turret card that just got revealed coming out of Savage Strike. Yes, you heard me correctly. A new sub turret card has appeared pretty much out of nowhere. Not exactly sure why Konami is digging up all these TCD exclusive archetypes and giving them new support. We're getting a mess of support for Noble Knights and Soul Fusion. Now we got a new sub turret card coming out in Savage Strike. I guess based on this pattern, I mean, can we just say Cosmo support confirmed in Dark Neo Storm? <laughs> I don't know maybe ua support in there but let's go ahead and check this card out and actually before we do i think that this is a good opportunity for konami to import subter guru from the ocg because i mean guru's right there on the card we don't have guru in the tcg come on konami make it happen give us up to our guru in savage strike then we can have both cards at the same time it only makes sense so this is up to our succession and you know the the name definitely works with the artwork you can see Subtera Guru is basically passing the mantle to Nemesis Warrior. This is a normal trap that is a hard once per turn. It says you can only activate a card with this card's name once per turn. Activate one of these effects. Also, after that, set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. Okay, so this is cool. I usually like cards like this. I think this all started with like Scrap Iron Scarecrow, but Subtera uh, Final Battle already has an effect like this where they give you, um, you know, uh, an ability to activate an effect and then you set the card face down. It's really good. One of those effects is send one monster either face up that you control or in your hand to the graveyard and if you do add one flip monster with the same attribute but a different name than the monster or excuse me than a different name than that card from your deck to your hand or the other effect is send one flip monster either face up that you control or in your hand to the graveyard and if you do add one monster with the same attribute but a lower original level than the sent monster from your deck to your hand so basically both effects are kind of like rotas and it's interesting because I like the design of this card where you can, you know, set it after you activate it. I just don't think that this is what Scepter is needed as an archetype. When you look at this card and you think, okay, Cap, so they're getting technically another, like, consistency card, another Rota. I mean, I'm not going to lie, being able to search for, um, you know, Scepter or Fiendus is really nice. But is that really what Scepter is needed? As far as I know, there are already not one, but two Rotas in this archetype, and hell, one of them is sitting there right in the artwork of this card. Subterra Guru kind of already does this, but a little bit better because it's kind of like a free plus one, and then you have it also built into the Hidden City, so I don't understand if an archetype already has two Rotas in it, why would you give them a third Rota that's a trap card, inherently making it a little bit slow, and really when I look at Subterras as an archetype, is, is another Rota going to fix some of their problems? like they're already a super slow archetype getting them to more monsters quicker is not going to change the fact that it's still a fucking flip based archetype you're still going to have situations where you have a whole bunch of monsters in your hand but they're flip monsters so you can't get them to activate and do what they want to do as quickly as you would just you know regular monsters that activate their effects on normal summons etc etc what i really think that subter is needed as an archetype was just a very good solid defensive trap they didn't need like a rota trap they need ways of slowing their opponent down to their speed especially when you consider that they're a flip deck and it doesn't matter whether you know konami gives us a billion more flip archetypes the reason that these flip archetypes whether it be crawlers or teen angles or scepters aren't very successful is they don't have enough ways to disrupt the opponent and to slow them down look at some of those decks and then look at a deck like ultra guys that has just you know they got hextia and conquery and uh you know sequitius and protocol like ultra guys have so many ways of disrupting the opponent and that's why it's a tier one deck ultra guys hardly ever summon more than like two times in a turn it's not a very fast deck at all but it can disrupt the opponent at pretty much every opportunity these flip decks don't have that what this deck needed was a card like phantasm spiral power which is a really good trap basically it's like effect veiler and shrink built into one card not only do you take away your opponent's monster effects but you actually take a thousand attack from that monster if they would have had a card like that not only could they disrupt what their opponent does oh you summon armageddon knight you're trying to go for a sword i'm gonna negate that effect now your Armageddon Knight not only not has its effect, but it's also weak and any monster I have can run it over. Like something like that that you could use every turn wouldn't be broken, but over maybe three or four turns, well, not even three or four, over two turns, that would be incredibly potent at slowing your opponent down and then you could just outgrind them. Now I will say, and this is really interesting because this rarely ever happens where a card might be dramatically better in the OCG than it is in the TCG or vice versa, but there is a potential there for Scepter Succession 
to actually be pretty good in the OCG specifically because off of that second effect where you send a flip monster to the graveyard and then you get another monster of the same attribute but a lower level you can actually search max C off of that and that's actually pretty good because the entire subterra archetype as far as I know is basically earth attribute and there aren't really any monsters that are under level two well most of the monsters guru and warrior and you know all the flip monsters most of them are high level so technically you can just give up any subterra monster for the most part and you can search out max C and that's actually really good but we're not gonna have that ability in the TCG because you know max C is banned now that application is strong and it makes me change my mind about maybe running a copy of this because it is searchable by guru but overall I don't think that this is really what the archetype needed I think they need more defensive cards to slow their opponent down they don't need more rotas when they already have two rotas in the deck but whatever you guys think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already does this mean guru is coming to the TCG turn on that notification bell for daily videos